Hello everyone and welcome to today's Pokemon unboxing where I have got a bunch of new-ish anyways collection boxes to open with you guys. I know I'm a little behind on some of these but I just found this in stores the other day and was shocked. I have not heard anyone talk about it but I mean by the time this video goes up I'm sure many people have talked about it because it looks freaking amazing. I mean we have got regular collection boxes like the Electrode V here, the Hisuian Electrode Electrode V. We've got the Infernape V box, which this one is very old, but I just hadn't gotten around to purchasing it yet. We have got the Hisuian Zoroark V Star box, premium collection. And then, like I said, we have this V Max Dragons premium collection box that I found at Target, and I was so stoked. I was not expecting it because I, like I said, I had never even heard of this before. Jumbo Rayquaza V Max. Oh, and by the way, it's double-sided. We've got Duralodon on the other side. Like, are you kidding me? This thing is so cool. I'm so excited to open it up. We've got our jumbo cards. No promo cards, but we do have cards from the set that I don't have yet because for some reason I have just not been able to pull the Duralodon VMAX or the Rayquaza V or the Rayquaza VMAX from Evolving Skies. So like, this is a super win for me. And I'm just super excited to open up these boxes with you guys. I'm hoping I can get some good pulls. I'm not going to be able to do a complete box battle. I mean, we'll see which one of these had the best pulls, but like, you know, some of them only have four packs. This one's got 11. So, you know, there's, there's a bit of a difference, but either way, we've got lots of packs to open and I'm excited to do so with you guys. So I'm going to unbox everything and then we can get on into it. Okay. So I've got everything all separated out here. I've got my jumbo cards to add to my jumbo binder, which I'm excited about, especially this Rayquaza VMAX. It just looks so good. So happy about that. So we have got those. I doubt you'll really be able to see him much, but he's also in the background there. So we're just gonna start opening packs. Like I said, we've got a bunch of them. I'm gonna start off with the Infernape V. So we got that lovely promo card, and then we got a not promo, but kind of promo in the Empoleon. The difference is that they use the different holographic patterns. So it's kind of a promo in that it's different or exclusive to this box, but it's not marked with the Black Star promo. So I still like having them, but really this is the promo card. This is the character mascot of the box. It's the Infernape V box. So we're gonna see what we can get. We're gonna start off. We've got Fusion Strike from that box. Obviously I am looking for alt arts here. Uh, there are definitely full arts as well, but like the main things, if I could ask, I would ask for alt arts. Of course, I was being too greedy to start there. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna ask if I get to choose, of course that's what I'm gonna pick. But now we have no shot. I have no idea off the top of my head if there are any non hollows that I need from this set. I highly doubt it, but I mean, that's gonna be the best case scenario for this pack anyways. So that's okay. We have got other Fusion Strike packs coming up. We do have a reverse rare for Verizia in there. And then we have got a Golem self-destructing. I hope that's not how I feel at the end of this video, but Astral Radiance. Let's shoot our shot here. See if we can get anything good out of this one. Anything I don't already have. That is always best case. Well, you know, I do, I've got to say best case scenario, well, it's technically both. It's technically anything I don't already have, but it's also also an alt art. Like, which one does it end up being? I don't know for this saying what it would actually be, but here we go. We did not get a good code card, so I'm not going to get my hopes up here. We do have a shot at a trainer gallery, though, so, like, that's always exciting. It's not going to happen here, but we do have another reverse rare. All right, Hisui and Avalug, and then we've got a Vespiquen. All right, so technically we are not getting no hits. That's good. Now let's see, moving into Lost Origin, if we can pull those alt arts, any of them. I haven't pulled an alt art from this set yet. So, boom. Okay, ouch. Infernape, did I wait too long to open your collection box? <laughs> Nothing but the bad ones are left. Well, who knows? We might get a trainer gallery in this. I love that Licky Licky card. It is so cute. So, so cute. I would not want a Licky Licky in real life. And in real life, I probably wouldn't think Licky Licky's cute. But either way, Okay, I do have this trainer gallery card, but we got a trainer gallery card, so that is exciting. And then we've got, no, I have, haven't I? Maybe not. I don't remember.
remember, I might not have this Polyrath card. This might be a hit. I'm gonna put it in my hit pile because it might be. I don't remember. Normally I wouldn't put it in my hit pile, but I want to make sure that when we go to do my binder that I have it out so that I can at least look to see if that is one that I needed because there are still some non-hollows. I think it actually might be the Machamp, which I don't know off the top of my head. Ouch. That was bad, Infernape. Well, at least we're getting the bad box out of the way. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse than this. But, um, the Machamp. I don't know whether it's a hollow or a non-hollow in this set. I am still missing it. The Polyrath, I don't remember. I feel like I might have it in reverse, that's what I'm thinking of. But I can't remember. Okay, Machoke. And then an Aridos for a non-hollow rare. So... We did get hits out of that one, but it wasn't great. Now, let's try for the Hisuian Electrode V. We got that promo card, and then another card where it's a promo, but not, like I said, no Black Star promo, but it does have the different hollow pattern on there. So I enjoy collecting these cards. It still is what it is. So let's see if we can do any better. We did get different packs in this one compared to the Infernate V box, but let's see. Which one am I opening up? Brilliant Stars. Okay. Boom. <laughs> I guess it doesn't feel as bad because I've still been getting hits. And we could still get trainer gallery cards that I don't already have. So that is the nice part. I do love that about these newer sets. It makes it so that a bad code card doesn't necessarily have to be bad. So let's see if I can get lucky. Let's see what I can do. Nope, but we do have a Reverse Rare Lapras. That is beautiful. And then a Tornadus for a non hollow Rare. Now, Astral Radiance. Let's see what we can do from Astral Radiance. Again, I mean, I am always just happy to be opening up Pokemon cards at all with you guys, she says as she gets another bad code card. This is pretty bad, my friends. I mean, hey, that's okay, but this is... <laughs> Is this one for the books? Is this the worst I've ever done, technically? At least in terms of bad code cards? <laughs> it might be. It might be. But let's see. I could still get trainer gallery cards. <sighs> nope. But we do have a Radiant card, okay. I do tend to pull this Radiant Greninja a lot, but it's still a hit. We're still getting a lot of hits in the Reverse Hollow slot. And then we've got an adorable Leafeon for a non hollow rare. Okay, Lost Origin, can you bring us some luck? Kenya, maybe, eh, eh? I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, I didn't want that golem to be, oh, okay, we've got a, we've got a flipped around one. That feels semi-thin. I feel like we might have a chance at at least a hollow in this pack, but let's find out together, my friends. Look at all of that ink on there. Carbink, I think, I think you had a leak. <laughs> Oh no, um, let's see what we can do though. In our reverse slot, we do have another reverse rare, the Comfy, and then we have got a Bouffalant. All right, I thought it felt thin, but you know, I, my feeling powers only go so far. I'm just taking a guess as to whether or not it's a good code card or not, but let's see. Can we turn luck around? Ooh, I don't know. It feels thin. <laughs> but clearly I guessed wrong last time, so maybe it'll be, oof, I just, this, this feels bad. This feels real bad, my friends. <laughs> but let's see, let's see, I'm not gonna give up hope yet. Let's see if we can turn my luck around and get a Dottler reverse. <gasps> We have a we have a rainbow, I think. A rainbow V-Star. Um, um, I don't know what you want it to be from this set. I can't think. But <sighs> that turns it around. That turns it around real good. Oh my god. Not well centered. Definitely you can see from left to right, but uh it's a Rainbow Giratina V-Star, my friends. Ooh! 
Oh my god. I think outside of alt arts, this is like the second most valuable. I think it's a little less valuable underneath the gold. I could be wrong about that. Either way, I don't have it. And that's always the most exciting. I mean, the fact that it is valuable certainly helps, you know, get your money back from buying the box. But, uh, for all the hurting we've been doing so far in our backs, <laughs> that feels especially nice. Ooh, that looks real good. Whew, it's getting hot in here? I think so. Let's move on into our Zoroark Premium Collection box. His sweet and Zoroark, excuse me, where we get our V-Star promo. And then we also get a beautiful full art. I love that Pokemon started doing that where they included these full arts as promos. They just look so good. It's like, yeah, I would have bought the product anyways, but like, that's so nice to get. Um, you also get this pin, enamel pin, so I'll be able to add that to my pin board. Looks very cool. And then we also, of course, got the V-Star marker. Can never have enough of those. And then we also got the hollow Sweet and Zoroark jumbo coin. A different kind of hollow. It's like kind of squiggly on there. I don't know that you'll be able to see that, but there we go. They did include chilling rain in this box. Box. So let's see if it's going to be painful. I mean, that would kind of be fitting for the pulls that I've gotten so far, aside from that last pack. Okay, yep, I mean, chilling pain. That's, that's how I know it. So it makes sense to me. <laughs> Have any of you had good luck with Chilling Rain? I just, it's probably my least lucky set, period. I have opened so much of it and have just gotten crapped on for the most part. It has definitely been my least luckiest set. All right, Swirlix Reverse and then a Gallade for a non hollow rare, but that's okay. Let's put it behind us. Let's move on into Evolving Skies and hope for something nice out of here. Doesn't even have to be any thing crazy like an alt art or a full art it could just be there i still need the umbreon v okay we have a chance at a hit i still need some a bunch of v maxes and now i don't need the rayquaza v max wouldn't that be awful <laughs> to finally pull that um or the duraludon or the even just rayquaza v but either way i'm especially looking for the Evolution V Maxes and the Evolution Alt Arts and a lot of full arts. Uh, Wishy Washy, that is a rare. And then, oh my God, we have something. It's a rainbow. Can it please be the Rainbow Sylveon V Max? That's the one I want the most. <laughs> Listen, I'ma take it. <laughs> it's a rainbow pile of crap. Excuse me, Garbodor. It's a rainbow pile of garbage, but I'm gonna take it. Okay, we're not getting many hits today, but apparently the hits we're getting are rainbows um, and reverse rares. Okay. <laughs> Rubbish collecting. I just, that's hilarious. <sighs> there are so many, so many rainbow evolutions and I pull the garbage pile. <laughs> That's okay though, that's okay though. I mean, ooh, we could have gotten Rainbow Rayquaza VMAX. It looks so good. Um, the Duraludon VMAX is a rainbow as well. There's so many chances it hits, I guess, in that set that even though it is the Evolution set, it's still hard to pull those ones. I guess that's what makes them hard to pull is that they put so much else in that set. But either way, what are we opening? Fusion Strike, Alter Gengar. Maybe? Hey, I'd even be happy with the Alt Art Genesect, you know? That's the most pulled one, I think. But either way, let's see. We've got a Toxel for a reverse. And then I think just a V card. Yes. I think I have this one, Serena V, but it's a hit, so we will take it. I think I'm thinking of, I forget which set it is, but with all the Lilligants in it, I think that's the one that I'm thinking of that I still need, like the V card and whatnot. But either way. That's okay. Still a hit. I'm gonna take it, especially after all those cards of non-hits, or all of those packs of non-hit code cards like this one. Yeah, we, we take what we're given. <laughs> so what am I opening here? Astral Radiance. We are back to trainer gallery slots that we could open, or get, pull, we could pull. Lots of words. There are lots of words that go on and on in these videos that we just reuse. Either way, let's see. Oh, 
excuse you, skipping over the adorable Hisui and Growlithe. Then we have a Mistrevis, and then we have a Regieleki for a non-holo rare. Okay, well, that's okay. Lost Origin, two packs. Let's see. Hisui and Zoroark, can you pull us something? Please, outside of the rainbow garbage. That'd be nice. Yes, okay, it can be done. Let's see, my friends. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone's doing well. And are you opening up any Pokemon cards? Are you waiting for the holiday season? Did you ask for any for gifts or anything this year? Let me know all of the things down below. Let's see, we got a Greedent for a Reverse Rare, and then a V card, a Hisui and Gudra V. I actually might need this card now that I think about it. So that's good. I really do. I think I need that card. So I'm going to be extra excited about that. Not only is it a hit, but I'm pretty sure I still needed it. So yay! It is currently snowing here in Minnesota. How are you guys doing for the weather? Oof. Okay. Of course that's how we're ending it. We're ending it the way we started it. Okay. Our first V-Star marker. That's okay. We could still get a trainer gallery. The Mew. The Golden Mew would be the best. I think, case scenario, but I'm just going to keep the hope alive that it's something that I don't already have. Oh yeah, let's see. Nope, Gliscor, it's a reverse rare. And then another Aridos for a non holo Okay, my goodness. Dragons. Can the dragons save us? I mean, it definitely saves us in that I needed three out of these four cards. I'm almost positive this Duraludon V is the only one that I don't have from, or that I do have from Evolving Skies. I definitely don't have the Duraludon VMAX. I definitely don't have the Rayquaza V, and I certainly don't have the Rayquaza VMAX. So, like, just getting those cards as inclusions in the sets, very exciting for me. Made this very worth buying. I mean, I would have bought it otherwise, but let's see. Evolving Skies. Can you pull me anything out of one random pack? You know, you would like to think, boom that, ooh, this isn't even the reprint, but you would like to think that with the reprint of Evolving Skies when they did that semi-recently, that they would have added in some more hits, <laughs> right? It's a tough set to get pulls from, that's for sure, but either way, let's see what we can do. Best case scenario is a reverse that I don't already have. Let's see what it is. A Zoroa, very cute, and then a Seismitude. Then, moving into Fusion Strike. Looks like we've got a couple packs here of Fusion Strike, so we've got chances to get things. I guess not in this pack, but uh, that's okay. We're still gonna keep on keeping keeping on. <laughs> there were two of these boxes at Target, and I hummed and hawed over which one was going to be the lucky one. Let's see if I picked incorrectly. I think, I don't know, I was second guessing myself. I couldn't tell which one was lucky. But let's see. We got a Crow Gunk for our reverse, and then we got an Excel Core for a non hollow rare. Fusion Strike. Or who knows, maybe they were both unlucky. You know, that is always a possibility. You always like to think that one's gonna be luckier than the other, but it's also possible that they're both awful. So let's keep that in mind as well. Now, let's see. We do have a chance at a hit here, so let's see. Can we do something good? I actually do think I see something at the back. It might just be a V card, but that's okay. I'm trying to, it's so hard, you guys. There's so many sets. I don't remember if I have any, or if there are any V cards that I still need from this set, but let's find out. We got a reverse rare hunt tail, and then we got, I think it's a V card. Yep, Chandelure V. I do have this card. I am almost positive, but still a hit. We will take it. Brilliant Stars, what can we do? I think the card that I would want most would be the Arceus alt art, but also the Luminian would be great. Okay, fine. How about a trainer gallery that I don't already have? I'm sorry, do you guys get sick of me? Like this is exactly how I speak these things out when I'm opening cards by myself. I'm sorry if it gets repetitive, but that's really mostly all that's going through my mind. It's like, ooh, cute Pokemon! I hope I can get something! That's all. That's all I do. That's it. Ax you for a reverse, a cute little reverse, and then a heat ran for a non hollow. I don't feel like I pull that one very often, so I'm gonna enjoy that artwork for a minute. It is a good artwork. 
Heatran, not one of my favorite Pokemon, but a good artwork. Okay, I was giving a compliment. You don't have to shut me down like that and give me a bad code card, but that's okay. You could still give me a trainer gallery. Hmm. Mm, do you feel like doing that? Maybe. That might be nice. Yeah, you might feel like seeing me excited for a second here. Let's find out. Cub Chew, Duskull. Oh, okay. We skipped over the far fetched Fertilectabuzz. And then a beautiful Relapris. We love it. Okay. Astral Radiance. Can we do something good out of here? Let's find out. So far, not so great. Um, wow. Okay. I wasn't trying to, like, speak that into existence. I was just saying, so far? <sighs> That's okay. We don't need to get negative. We do not need to get negative. Let's see what we can do. Let's wait and see if we can get a trainer gallery. It is possible. It sure is. So let's not completely poop on this pack just yet. Okay, now we can. And then behind here is we an Avalug. Now, Astral Radiance. We're still opening Astral Radiance. Uh, what can we do? I've told you what I want. You guys know what I want. Obviously, I mostly want cards that I don't already have. All right, we have a chance. <sighs> we have a chance. Let's see, my friends. Should we, I don't wanna open one in silence. That's no fun, but I don't know. Would it help? Maybe. Uh, let's find out. Let's just see what we can do. Can we get a double banger? It is possible. Let's see. Behind this hair across, we have, we do have a reverse rare and then a Keldeo for a hollow rare. Okay, well, Astral Radiance, you've got a couple more tries. Let's see, please. I hope, <laughs> I just, I hope. I, I always have hope. Sometimes the hope is not well placed. But I do always have hope. I do try. I try my darndest here. Okay, let's see, my friends. Golduck. Super effective. Let's see if we can be super effective. I'm wearing glasses. We can pretend that they're super effective glasses and get me a really nice trainer gallery card, yeah? Behind this bronze ore. No. I told you I pulled this card so much. <laughs> It is truly not even funny. I might be laughing, but at this point, it is not even funny. <sighs> I mean, it's fine. But like, ouch, ouch, it hurts. Can't we get some holiday? Maybe they're saving it all for that last pack. I mean, if that Altart Giratina or Altart Aerodactyl are in there, boom. Kind of almost miscut. Definitely off center, but like, Maybe that's what they're saving all my luck for, in which case I will be very grateful. Let's see. <laughs> it's a different one. I'm gonna be happy because it's a different one. Radiant Heat Ran, welcome to the team. Did you hear me compliment your other card earlier? Cool. Mightyena, behind ya. Great, I am guess I'm glad to have you here. <laughs> welcome to the team, buddy. Welcome, I hope you enjoy your stay in my box of extras. <gasps> When's the last time you've, I mean, this is good. This is good. As much as it hurts, this is good. It is good to show that you can't always be lucky when opening Pokemon cards. You just can't. A lot of the YouTubers, that's all they post, because I know it is the most exciting. It's true. However, it's just not the reality. You can't pick your luck. <laughs> a Machoke and then a Magearna. All right, last pack magic, it would be nice. I'm not gonna expect anything, especially not after what we've done so far, but the hope is alive. The hope was alive. It's still alive for that trainer gallery pull. Come on, come on. We can still do it, my friends. I am keeping the hope alive. Darn it. Okay, that Machoke just doesn't wanna be a part of the pile. Let's find out, Ghastly. Are you laughing at me? Oh. <laughs> It's a really good pull. I do have this card. I've only pulled it once. Oh my god, and I'm just noticing this shadow above their head makes a little heart. Oh my god, that is even more adorable than it already was. Let's see what we got. And a Raichu behind it? Okay, that's kind of last pack magic. My favorite Pokemon, or one of my favorite Pokemon, Raichu. This Pikachu card, it's so cute. It's like one of my favorite cards ever created. 
It's so cute, the artwork. It's just, it's so cute. I love it so much. Who's ready for a recap that looks like it's a lot better than it actually technically was? I mean, listen, we did get hits. I can't say we didn't get any hits. We opened a lot of packs today. And it's very hard to put these in order because obviously some boxes like this Infernape had only four packs. The Dragon's collection box had what 11 packs so take that into consideration but I think the least luckiest one was Infernape V today where we were only able to pull a couple of reverse rares and then a very <laughs> common to pull trainer gallery card I think this card is worth like five cents <laughs> it's that common but either way that's all we got uh, Zoroark, I feel like maybe came in next place. We got these beautiful promo cards, so that's great. Uh, we did get some reverse rares. Great, you know, always good to add those to the binder. And then did we get, we got other things from this one. We got a couple of V cards, I think one of which, the Gudra, I don't already have. And we also did get the Rainbow Garbage Pile. Kinda cool. Uh, we, I think maybe that one did better than the Dragon's Box, actually, now that I think about it. But I think the fact that I was able to get these cards <laughs> just as a part of the set, um, that kind of helped the luck, even though the actual box was not lucky, like, at all. We got some reverse rares, we did. Um, we got a Hollow, we got a couple of Radiant cards, and then we got a V card. Yeah, out of 11 packs. Oh, and then the Pikachu. This is a fantastic card, it really is. But out of 11 packs, not great. The Sweet Electrode V, randomly, definitely did the best. Um, not in terms of the amount of hits, but in what the hit was. So we got a couple of reverse rares. Yes, we did. We also got a Radiant, and then we got this Rainbow Giratina V Star. I mean, that's definitely the hit of the day. That's incredible that I pulled that. I am very happy. So, womp womp. But like, all things considered, I got a great card. I really did. And I got to open up Pokemon cards, period. So let's be even happier. We love putting things in the binder, so let's go do that together real quick. All right, to begin, we have got my big binder. Let's go ahead and fill this in. This binder really doesn't have an order. I just kind of stick them in where I can. The only time I try and keep things together is if cards came in a set. So like here, where I'm turning the page to put in his Sweet and Zoroark V-Star. I'll have that go there, just cause whatever. But then I don't want to separate these two since they came in the set together. So I'm gonna flip the page and then I will slide these in. I do do these double paged just cause, I don't know, why not conserve room? But then I'll go back and put another one in right there. But for now, those two, they're staying together. Boop. We've also got promos to add to my promo binder. So 252, 249, 51, 2. So Infernape, you'll go right there. And then 294, you will go right by Verizian, make him a little less lonely. I also put in this electrode because I don't know where else to put him at the moment. But we have got 295, 286, this is perfect, 297, and 298. Now you're especially less lonely, Verizian. Enjoy! Now we definitely have hits for Evolving Sky, so this is exciting. I truly am so excited to fill in these slots. It's been a long time coming, and even though I didn't pull them organically, I really could give a flying you-know-what. I'm pulling off off these sticky notes and I'm saying congratulations to me. We have got a full double page spread. We love to see it. And then as I said, I do have the Duralodon. I've apparently pulled it multiple times already, so you'll go into bulk. But the VMAX, welcome home. We have completed another two page spread. Yes.
Love it. I'm telling you, we still have so many full arts that I could pull. But you know what? I pulled out the rainbow garbage pile. Apparently, I didn't want it enough to have it in here. But haha, -ha, joke's on me. We're gonna scoot everything over one because this is number 216. This is why in the further sets, I just made room for everything because this always inevitably seems to happen. But hey, rainbow garbage pile. Welcome home. And for reverses, let's see if we can add anything. Wishy Washy is number 46. So it would be on this page. All right, we do have some Wishy Washies already. What about Zorua? And we do have Zorua, so these will also be bulk. Fusion Strike. Like I said, I'm fairly positive I already have this one. Yes, multiple even. So let's see for reverses, because I'm Pretty positive I also have the chandelure. Yes, I do. Multiple. So bulk. But let's see. Verizian number 15. Hey, hey, we will go ahead and add that in. Well done. What about Huntail? Water, water, water. Looking good. Number 66. Hey, there we go. Right next to Gorbis. We love it. Toxel, I think I have. Let's see, 105. We got to go into the extra pages. I do have it, but I only have one. So we'll add that in. And Krogunk. I probably have, but let's see. See. Yes. Okay, so bulk it is. So brilliant stars. Sorry, the lighting got especially bad here. There's a snow cloud above me. We've just got possible reverses. So let's see. Lapras we already have, but just one. So we will add that in. Electabuzz, we've got a couple already. And then Axew. How about you? Yes, okay, so these will both go in bulk. Astral Radiance, I know I already have these cards, so we're just gonna put those in bulk, but with the reverses. Actually, you know what, I take it back, I've only pulled the Radiant Heat Ran once, so we will add him in. The Greninja, I don't have to check, I have many of him, but reverses, <laughs> look at my full art page, it's so sad. Let's see, his Hisuian Avalog, number 48. Oh no, I have messed up, my friends. This should be Keldeo, Bergmite, Avalug, Drat. I've messed up big time, because that should be Avalug. This should be Regielucky. This should be Typhlosion. Oh no, I just put Typhlosion in the wrong spot, because then Togepi, Togepi, okay. Foofda! Why do I do that to myself? Uh, Mistrevis, we have you. Pseudo Wudo, we have you, but only one, and I think so. Yep, we already have you, so bulk. And last but not least, Lost Origin. I do, I checked, I already have the Polyrath, but I have only pulled it once. So hey, at least friendship, we can do that. Like I said, I still haven't pulled that Machamp, or Barbarical. But his sweet and Gudra V, welcome to the family. I will slide you in. Now these pages are complete. And I certainly do not have Rainbow Giratina. That's incredible. We will add that in right next to Drapion. Woohoo! Trainer Gallery, adorable Pikachu going in. Cast form, yeah, I've pulled you multiple times. But then we have reverses. I know I already have Dotler. I might already have Comfy. Oh, uh, maybe, oh no, okay. But just once, Machamp, I think I have many, or Machoke, I mean, yes, yes, yes. Gliscor, add one more, and Greedent, likely I already have it, but let's see. 151, oh hey, there we go. A reverse rare coming in clutch, woohoo. I don't know why I motioned to the bulk as woohoo, but woohoo. Ah, uh, and we're back. Doesn't that feel great to put things in the binder? It makes it all feel so much better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing what I was able to pull from these random uh, collection boxes, this random collection of collection boxes. As I said, please let me know if you have opened these up, if you have had any luck with any of them, what cards are you still searching for? What's the best card you have pulled recently? Let me know all of these things in the comments down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up. 
down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap the notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family, be it here on this channel or my main channel. I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well. Until then, bye.